Castle. We will do everything in our power to get your daughter back. I don't want to be handled. Just let me know where things stand. Let's start with the facts as we now understand them. Your daughter attended last night's event with Sarah El Masri. Apparently, they met in an environmental science class and became friends. GPS on her phone shows that it was left outside the hotel shortly after the event ended. That, plus the fact that no one has seen or heard from her in the 16 hours since, leads us to conclude that she, too, was forced into the van. Now, why would they take Alexis if Sarah was the target? She was probably with Sarah at the time. She was a witness. It would have been easier to take her than not. So you're saying she was just in the wrong place in the wrong time? It appears that way. Do you have any suspects? We have a name. Facial recognition gave us an ID on the man in the video, Roger Henson. We know him mainly as a mid-level narcotics smuggler. If we know he's out there, we can get him. We can initiate a manhunt. We're already searching for Henson, along with all his known associates. But he is a career felon. Finding him won't be easy. What's a drug smuggler doing involved in a kidnapping? We're not sure. But Roger Henson is not a shot caller. He's a middleman, a hired gun. He may have been hired to abduct the girls. What happens now? We press ahead on multiple fronts with a focus on Henson. Locating him could crack the case. We're also creating contingency plans for when and if the kidnappers make contact. If? What do you mean, if? We know that the Almazries are wealthy, and you told us Sarah was the target. Mr. Almazri admitted he had close ties with the previous regime in Egypt. As a result, he made some very powerful enemies. It's possible his daughter's abduction was motivated by revenge. Okay, where does that leave my daughter? I mean, if... If she wasn't the one they were after, and she's just in the way... Mr. Castle, you need to stay positive. Whatever their motives, the kidnappers will realize she has value. Now, what we need to do next is go to your home and set up a trap and trace on your phone line so we're ready for their call. I'll wait for you outside.